deputy will not be persecuted, his deputy will not be harassed. That, I think, the president, my boss, owes that to the people of Kenya to honor that promise so that Kenyans can trust him and he can win the trust of the people of Kenya because this is something within his purview. He requires no funding, he requires no financing, he requires no urging. It's a commitment he gave. And he also gave it to me right. with my wife and my children when he asked me to be his running mate. I sat with him and my wife and my children and we asked him, we have seen what you have gone through. If our father becomes your deputy, will he be taken through what you are taken through? And he gave us as a family a very firm commitment that that will never happen. I'm asking President William Ruto, my boss, please keep your promise to the people of Kenya. Stop those people who are abusing your deputy. Stop those ministers who are demeaning your deputy. Don't allow the criminal justice system to harass and intimidate your deputy the way you are intimidated. If you cannot keep the other promises to the people of Kenya, at least this one is a very simple promise. Be a good man. Be a good Christian. Keep that promise, President William Ruto, because that is a commitment you give to the people of Kenya, and you gave me that promise in front of my wife and children that you will never allow anybody to demean me, to disrespect me, to harass me, to persecute me, to intimidate me, to coerce me. That is a commitment that you give. I ask you, Mr. President, keep that commitment.